place if people are poorly and they can't get fixed, they come to the hospice. They're just like hospitals, but they're like but they're for people who can't get better. Scary for a child. My uncle Brian died at a hospital. Did he? Yeah. I think they die. It's sad, isn't it? Mm-hmm. They go up there. What's up there? Heaven. They have good care. They take good care of the people who are in it. You're probably wondering why we chose children to open a film about the Butterwick Hospice aimed at business. The answer is simple. They speak with such innocence, they're charming. Many have yet to be touched by grief. They tell it like it is. Without the support of business leaders like this, Butterwick would struggle to survive. We constantly need more corporate support. Corporate support is essential for the hospice. As a local charity, freely caring for local people at a cost of nearly £4 million a year, we really need the support of every sector of the local community, including the business sector, who are so generously supporting us in a growing way at the moment. The sort of principle is that we'll, we'll need to use our hospice sometime in our lifetime and uh, we should be supporting this particular area. For Teesside University, the, the choice to partner with Butterwick was a very easy one. It's a wonderful organisation shows such care and compassion and its values align very much to the values of the university and I'm sure for lots of organisations small and large like the university it's a great choice for a partner. The networking opportunities themselves are very valuable but the chance to give something back to the community is a measure. I just wanted to support what I think is a, a wonderful organisation at the heart of the community when it's most needed. I think it's local, it's, it's a local service for local people and I think, you know, there's so many people in the area that we know that have been through the, 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 the hospice and, you know, people's families and friends and it, it's just close to our hearts. We support the Butterwick because it's an amazing organisation. We all have very busy schedules and we find coming along to the breakfast meetings and the different events at the host gives time out to reflect and you see what an amazing organisation and, and the people behind it. Uh, Jackson's has been in the Stockton area for 140 years next year and the hospice uh, supports our staff and their families, our clients and their families and the community in which we work. We're, we're a local company and we like to support local, um, our local community um, uh, and I guess we like to make sure that the support we give is going to make a tangible benefit to, to local people because um, those local people are our employees and are, are, are their employees or their, their families and relations um, so, so to, to us it's important. Butterick Hospice Care maintains that every moment counts and you're about to meet some people who appreciate exactly what that means. People like cancer sufferer Debbie Green. She admits that the Butterwick has given her her life back. She was in a dark place, terribly unhappy. Where would she be without the new Butterwick friend she calls her guardian angels? Um, I couldn't answer that. I have no idea. I have no idea. I'm not going to cry. Keeping it real. I really don't know. You're here for support and emotionally, physically. If only you could have that, that image to say before and after. I feel like 100%, 100% better. Up here, mainly. Butterwick always needs to raise awareness, and that's where ambassadors have a vital role to play. People like Peter Barron, editor of the Northern Echo. Well, I just go around talking about what a great place Butterwick Hospice is, really, and um, 
try and get as many people as, as possible to appreciate the value of, um, of the place and the, the work that it does and um, you know, how it's filled a gap in, in the region really because until the, the Butterwick Hospice was there for children the North East was the only region in the country that didn't have a, a children's hospice so I, I just try and get across to people its value. Everybody will know somebody or have somebody in their family that's been been helped, uh, you know, you know, by it, which is which is what it's about. I suppose partly it's as an editor, but it's also partly as a father of four, I've got children myself, you know, just trying to appreciate what it must be like when you're in a position where you need that service and, and just doing whatever it is I can to help. Butterwick Hospice continues to develop and evolve. The structure. This is admin. Inpatient care. Daycare. The children's hospice. The Sunflower Room. Care and dignity to the very end. I would just say to, to other companies, look, do something. Do something that's just that little bit extra, really. And, uh, and, and getting involved with the Butterwick is, is a really good thing to do. I'd say, you know, just get your hand in your pocket and get it sorted out. Definitely. Get it sorted. I think, come on guys, get off the bench and let's get involved and you know, it's, it's, it's as all, it, it, it will affect us all at some point in our lives or some family members, so come on, do what you have to do. Do it. Uh, Jackson's has gained so much from being a corporate partner at the Butterwick, much, much more than we ever anticipated in terms of uh, a community participation in terms of publicity and profile raising and in terms of team building so I would just say do it. One man's raw emotion and heartbreaking sincerity have come to symbolise exactly what the Butterwick means not just to patients but to their families too. Norman is no longer with us but we know that he will inspire many many more corporate partnerships. It may be a silly thing to, uh, to say under the circumstances, but I found heaven <laughs> with the Butterwick <laughs> because of uh, what, they, what they've offered us, uh, which you can't get anywhere else. Um, the Butterwick does provide um, for, for that individual and for the family as well, something that no, no one else provides. And I really have found with them heaven, if that's maybe a silly thing to say <laughs> under the circumstances. Problem. I've got cancer with asbestos, and uh, you know, you know what the score is at the end of the day, and you think, well, where do I go from here? Where do I go from there? And it wasn't until I was introduced to the Butterwick that I knew where I was going, and I had some hope and such like, so I can go to the end in dignity, and that's what the Butterwick has given me, absolute dignity all the way through, and, and that I, I'll always be grateful for. But not only the dignity for me, the dignity for the family as well and they've given me an opportunity. Excuse if I get emotional. But if I, um, it's not just me, it's the family. Just let me get myself pulled together and I'll be with you again. It's okay, it's all right. I'll be with you again, it's okay. It's, you see, what people don't realize, that, it's not just me that suffers, it's the whole family. <laughs>